Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we are let's play Dragon Quest 7 for the 3DS or 2DS Extra Large or whatever. 2D, 3DS Extra Large, 3DS whatever or whatever, whatever you're playing it on. Anyways, in the last episode, we did a few odds and ends. We did some traveler tablets, and we're gonna change them up and check out. Heights of Machismo. Now we're working on Booby Trap Bluff. We're gonna finish off these, uh, I don't think there's anything here, but just gotta make sure. Yep, we're just gonna finish off these. Then, so what I did some research is, oh, we got Mimics and Candy Boxes. Anyways, what I did was I did a little research the items that you get, the first item you get is um, a designated item, but after that they're randomly given to you based on level and this, that, and the other, so I might not get the same item if I wanted to, like, um, farm for items, but what I did find out was the seeds are basically whatever the lowest or the, whatever the highest attribute of the seed is, is let's say you can gain up to five on a seed of strength for some reason it start or let's say you can gain up to six hp on an eight and on um on a seed of life it starts at six and goes to nine so those super seeds of whatever are very good they're very very good so yes yeah, at this point, I really, uh, I, was about to, I was about to say, I really don't think there's anything, but, and yeah, we're just going to be gaining not so great items, to be honest. There's not going to be anything, like, super great that we collect through here, which is kind of a shame. But yeah, um... Apparently, there's a way that you can download things where you can, where you can, uh, let's use Blade of Ultimate Power. There we go. Wow, all right. Nicely done. That thing's still alive after that massive attack. Anyways, um, yeah, I was looking up some stuff. Apparently, monsters that you catch in the monster meadows can be used... All right, super seed of magic. Apparently, the monsters that you collect in the monster meadow, you can actually use them to make, like, certain tablets or something. I, I'm not 100% sure on the whole, on the whole thing. Um, I honestly never did a majority, and here we're gonna do Heroes Grotto. And honestly, I have not really farted around with this a lot, even in my own game, like, from the, like, physical game that I have. Because as most of you know, I'm playing this on an emulator. And even in the, um, like I mentioned, the physical version, I don't, I haven't done any of this. Because it just wasn't, I like wasn't interested except for the one story thing. Look at these little guys, huh? Oh wow, the big guy's still around. No, no he's down. But yeah. So yeah, there was the one story thing. Apparently... Apparently, so I'll just tell you what it is, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it, but apparently you were able to go back in time in one of the um, tablets, and you would be able to see Kiefer again. Now, one of the things that I was kind of interested with was, like, if you were going to be able to get him back in the party, and I know this is kind of spoilery at this point, but I'm just going to mention it anyways, you do not end up getting him back in the party, which honestly, thinking about it more, I'm kind of glad that we don't. Because it would make his... I mean, it would make his return really cool, right? Maybe he could come with some really amazing abilities. 
or something, or if he just comes as he was before, not as cool. But I kind of like the idea of him not joining the group because then it makes um, it makes him leaving even more impactful. Similar like when a character dies, um, a controllable character that you've used, not like. Uh, you know, like Galif or Eris or whatever. You know, when they when they go, that's it. You know what I mean? There's no more. I don't know. I have not seen much treasure. But yeah, so it makes. I guess it makes sense. I am gonna try to see if I can get do it somehow. And apparently, Square Enix only had only had um. What the hell is it? They only had uh, the thing up for like a like the downloadable quest up for a certain period of time. I don't understand why they just didn't add it to like an official thing on the Nintendo store or whatever. And to be honest, I don't even think that the downloadable content is actually like on another on another thing, you know what I mean? I think it's already in the... It's like, like you have to download or whatever. I honestly think it's already in the cartridge. And you just need some sort of... Um, some sort of key, basically, to unlock it. Saying maybe maybe the, the key is you beat the game, right? Because, like, in Dragon Quest Nine, the way that we ended up... Me and Paul, or Veteran0121... We ended up getting that stuff to work was we hacked into the game. We got a program that hacked into the game because all the bonus content was already there. It just needed to be unlocked via the DLC. Some sort of thing after you beat the game. And hell, even when I played it, played it originally, I I could not find. Um, let me just make sure I got everything. I, th I think I did, but let's just. But even when I played the game originally on. My regular DS, excuse me, I could not get, I could not, uh, you know, unlock any of the stuff because the way Square Enix did it where it's like, oh, hey, we're not gonna, we, we just, you gotta, like, it should just be something, uh-oh, he, he didn't have enough to use Blade of Ultimate Power. But I do... I'm gonna show you how it's done. But yeah, so, I don't know, Square Enix sometimes doesn't do their DLC correctly, especially with this. This is something where it should, you should be able to access it. It's just like an add-on type deal. You know. Super Seed of Resilience. Nice. Alright, I think we only have a, a few more. And then, you know what? Maybe I'll try to make my own. But I don't think I can. If, honestly, anyone has any information on, like, how the, uh, on how this stuff works, please let me know. Because I would, I would love to... I would love to be able to understand how how uh, the bonus content or the um, this stuff worked. Like I remember something where you had to have the DS on or something where no, nope. you have to have the DS on and you would walk around. Or make friends or something as you're walking. Something like that. I forgot exactly. And that was something Street Pass, I think it's called. At least we're getting, like, tiny bits of gold. You know what I mean? It all adds up, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, so... Um, yeah, they do have a way to get the DLC stuff on this DS emulator. I just am not smart enough to figure it out, so. Unfortunately. 
I am not smart enough to figure it out. There's like something you gotta do, and then that's the same thing with with um, Terry's Wonderland, the new game, the game that they remade um, Dragon Quest Warriors on. You need, to, in order to play the emulation, <clears throat> you need a me or something like that. You know, and there's no way to make it on the emulator. Like, there's no. Unfortunately, when you turn on the emulator, it's not like when you, um, when you turn on the emulator, it's not like when you, uh, turn on your, your DS and there's, like, old screen and this, that, and the other. Basically, like, most emulators, you just load it up. And I'm sure this is where he's gonna be, but, yeah, this is where the boss is, but let's check down here, even though... I'm pretty sure there's not going to be anything. Let's check anyways. But yeah, so... If they had something where you, you could do that... You know, wonderful. This emulator is nice, but... Um... It does have its faults. Apparently... Yeah, I don't think there's anything here, so I'm not going to... I don't even know why they bothered with that. I think they bothered with it just because it's like, oh, hey, we can add another section. But yeah, um, I don't think, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what the Citra people are working on. I mean, they have a, they have a Patreon account, so I'm, I assume that they try to make updates every month on how everything's going, and they're working on it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks great, but they need... They need to add extra features like save states. That's one big thing I'll mention about this whole thing is... I wish they had save states. Anyways, let's fight this big seahorse who looks like... Well, he looks like a giant seahorse. And this time I'm not going to use my Blade of Ultimate Fire. Or power. Because... I want to save my MP for the next boss battle. Let's try Helm Splitter. There we go, we lower his defense. up there. Yay! Super Seed of Agility. Alright, so let's... Let's have an ash use a full heal on you. And there we go. Let's check out the last tablet from our monster friends. I wonder if this is going to have metal slimies. this. There's only one treasure. Hmm. Yeah, I have to go herb. I wonder if I should run into a monster. Alright, well, slimes. Just regular slimes. Slime heart. So far, so good. Simple, simple, simple. Oh, look, we're in the final stage. Yeah, this is this is what the final area is gonna look like. Wow, nothing really. Well, okay. This was easy. I was hoping that there was gonna be something here. So now we have to fight Emperor Slime. I 
I'm actually gonna change tactics here and I'm gonna I'm gonna say show no mercy. Super Seed of Magic. And that is all of the, um, let's see. <sighs> let's see here. Hello. No, I, I want to talk to you. There we go. That's how we get Trombola tickets. Alright, so what do you have to say? Does anyone have anything interesting? So yeah, I guess we captured 18 monsters. In the, in, so we have six monster stamps. For three monster stamps, let's try the trombola out. And then you know what? I'll go to the DLC cafe. Although I'm sure it won't work. kids, it's not good to gamble, or is it? Yeah, alright, we'll do one more try. Yeah, alright, I'm not, I'm done with this trombola tickets. I'm done. Alright, let's go into... Yeah, see, I don't think anything's going to happen here. I mean, we can try, but I'm pretty sure nothing's going to happen. Oh, I have to agree to the user, whatever. I picked up that the oddity of tasty tidbit information. Alright, so we can we can look in the general or the safe house. What does that mean? No one's in the safe house. I invite someone to the safe house. Yeah, I don't really know what else you can do with the Haven. Um, oh yeah, let's warp over to the Mini Metal King. And I think that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, there's not much more we can do with the, um, with the other thing. Oh, sir. We get the Metal King Shield, woohoo! 
a Guambaro. All right. So who needs defense? 84, 83, 212. Mervan needs some defense. Do -do 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 -do. And there we go, we equipped it. Sweet, Mervan's got himself a nice shield. Let's zoom over to Estard here. Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh no. It's over at the Shrine of Mysteries, do we? Oh well, let's rest up. Hello, sir. Yeah, people are complaining no one's traveling no more. That's a shame. But we're gonna take a nappy poo. And I think this is going to be my final party. So, let's put this stuff away. I'm not going to need any of it. Um, transfer. all of this stuff. So you have a strength ring. See, here's the thing. I'm going to come back out of... Because I have to do... I have to do the... Um, I gotta do the... Uh, what the hell you call it? The, dun the final dungeon a few times. So, I'll be out. This is not gonna... This is unfortunately not gonna be the final section. You know, we're gonna... We're gonna I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that. Oh, transfer. Put this there. All right, cool. All right, we're good to go. Yes, it's boarded. Now I don't think. Yeah, I'm gonna be out again. So I don't think that um, the final dungeon here is as long as as usual. I don't remember. So we can come over here and we can be like, oh, look at this. The Cathedral of Blight. The door is shut and we can't really do anything. We can only walk around like a schmo. And as you can see, there's a tablet here. So yeah, there's really nothing we can do. Oh, dearie. How are we going to get up to the top? Oh, look at this enemy. I've never seen this guy before. And let's change the tactics. Use no magic, because I want to save it. Yeah, these guys are icky looking. Icky, icky. Look at all these creatures from, from hell. But yeah, I don't know if there's any treasure. I'm assuming not. Alright, so we are at the top level, and unlike, unlike other variations of dungeons, we have to go down. Usually we go up. Well, not really, but whatever, you know what I mean. So at this point, we're just gonna walk, 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 walk. And we'll fight these enemies here. Prison Peacock and the Dastardly Priest, Beastly Priest. And yeah, these guys are obviously the, some of the toughest you're going to meet in the game. Due to the fact that it's the final dungeon. 
Yeah, we'll, I'll fight a bunch of new enemies. Freezing wingworms. I wonder if these guys are technically dragons. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Now, if I recall correctly, there should be no new new treasures, at least in this section. I like I like how rough Put him to sleep. I like that. Good level up for Mervin. But yeah, I, I think if I do like a nose for treasure, yeah, the, I, I, even up here, I don't think there's any anything that you you might have already gotten. Yeah, there's nothing up here. So we want to come to the front door and unlock it. Oh no! Whoa, we're only over here. Now let's fight these guys. These Tuslogers. I'm still going to end up heading out and going to Shark Eye's place. Um, I guess I have to... Ooh, ooh. Oh, I see what I got to do. Where's the door? See, this is a good reason why you should have, you would need the good opportunity to walk around the area. Because now we have to head down into the basement, which is right down here. Down, down, down. And yeah, as you can see, here's the, a big old hole. We can, and we, we can even check right here. But if you didn't collect everything else, you're good. So let's fall down. Now welcome to the icky icky part. And at this point, I think there's a door here maybe? Because you can open the door so that you can come back later. Oh, look we gotta fight heavy metal. And the prison peacock. Now interestingly enough, I believe the heavy metal monster was called Eastar in the original game. Honestly, I don't really remember. Well, I guess there's no way out. But yeah, I gotta admit, this is the first time I'm using uh, Aria going down here. Usually I go back and I put Mary Bell in the group, but. I think we've seen a lot of Mary Bell. I'll just keep I'll just keep her in for now. Alright, so there's two treasures here. Let's search around for them. We get Ra's mirror, which I'm not sure why we get it. And we're gonna skip that guy for now. And get a mini medal. Alright, now let's fight him. Barbados. And 
there we go. Okay, there's no treasure. Safe passage. opens the doors. Okay, so now we can now we can leave here if we want. Yeah, who would have thought that the evil would have been here? And yeah, this place should look a little familiar. It was Ogdemeyer's uh, throne. And yeah, now we can leave. And I think the doors will stay open. Even if you leave and like leave the area 100%. Okay, so no treasures. So let's head over here. Let's see what's over here. Uh-oh, we got a Pandora's box. The strongest of these enemies. The nastiest, too. Oh, shit. Just get rid of him. Wow, what a pathetic ability. Alright. Yeah, that was fairly nasty. They said there was nothing here, right? Okay, let's fight this big red guy. And oh, look, it's another guy. What's his name? Viz Major and Numesis or something. Carbuncle. Yeah, I'm not sure if that guy's a dragon or not. But whatever. Okay, here we are. Let's do a notice of treasure. Only one treasure. Hey, mini metal. I'll take it. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, honestly, to see this creature like, like in the in the original game, it was just like a a two D sprite thing that moved. For this, like you can see how big it is in compa comparison with the other character. It's pretty uh, interesting. We got another guy, Togor. Right, we keep 
going down. One of these warpy rooms. Three treasures, okay. So the top left corner is the way I want to go. Top left corner. What's over here? What is this? Interesting, they have just a statue there. But supposedly there's three treasures left. There's one of them. Get some gold. Any Drassia leaf, yay. Or Yidrasa leaf, whatever. That's pretty good. Restore some of the wearer's HP with every step. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't think it's super cunning, but... I guess it's sort of cunning. Low level of cunning. Alright. So the upper left here. Lead us to the stairs. And let's do a nose for treasure. Nothing here, but just... Nasty stuff. Now here's where it starts getting creepy and freaky. Freaky creepy. Metal slime S's. Mm. They're fusing together to make a king metal slime. Wow, I honestly thought you'd be dead. Yes, you're not running away, you're dead. You're dead, dead, dead. Whoa, he's not dead yet. No, damn it. There's a treasure here, they supposedly. No. Alright, so what I'm gonna need to do is do Snoop. There we go. We get a mini metal. This is why you gotta do that. Every once in a while they sneak those in there. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, okay. But what about in here? There's only one treasure that hasn't been found. Alright, so we got Metal Slime S's.
Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Back to use no MP, not show no mercy. Yeah, so at the end of this whole thing, which I'm probably only going to do the one right now and leave, maybe what I'll do is I'll go outside and purchase some things and maybe use some seeds of magic or whatever. Because I have to look and see what I did with the... Um, that one thing that I did. What, where am I? With the, uh, what do you call it? The, um... What the hell do you call it? The, uh, the competitions. I want to see where I am. Because if anything, I'll use... I'll use these... Things here. These, uh, super seeds and all that stuff. Is it down here? Oh, here's an enemy. We have not fought a Draculard. He's definitely a dragon. We get a shield of shame, which I won't be bothering with. And that was it, right? So yeah, um, one thing I was going to mention was, yeah, okay, so how this dungeon's going to work is we're going to get a section where we need to put an amulet in from one of the spirits, and uh, one of the amulets that I'm going to use is probably fire first, but what you want to do is leave and come back in and use the amulets all over again. So you can get more, more stuff. Because each each place you go through gives you some really good stuff. And here we are. We're here. Let's do a snow treasure. Only one treasure. But yeah, you can fight these eggs here, and you'll fight these Dracularges each time. Ooh, hello. Alright, so for this battle, I'm gonna no 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 follow orders and hatchet man. Hatchet man and hatchet man. Yay, Metal King! Yay, you're dead! Yay, level up! That's it? I can't believe it.
can't believe that one, that's it. Kinda of sad about that. Gotta fight the carbuncle. We got an enclosure plan, yay. Yay. Fight our way through here. So yeah, like I said, I'm probably gonna use the fire amulet first. And then we'll do water, earth, wind, and all that. But yeah. Here's this. I don't think the Yeah, there doesn't appear to be anything here. So let's skedaddle. That's not fair. You can't be just hanging out in the doorway. Especially since you're as big as the doorway. I'm surprised no one else went up a level after that. One battle. Alright, so welcome to this area here. Where it's like, what the hell? And there's a big glob glob globulum. The presence of the spirits is very strong. Perhaps now there's time to call on their aid. The holiness pervades this place. Could it be the power of the spirits? Maybe I could call on aid for them. So what do we do now? Yep, we do have means of summoning them. So we're going to use the fire emblem first. Thanks, guy. Whoa, we're on fire! Oh my god! But yeah, we will actually get very special gear for each section. There's only one treasure. Great. I gotta look for it. And then I gotta find the exit. And I'll fight these guys once... I find the treasure. Yes! Here we go, and we get the Pyros Helm, which is very, very good. Arguably the, the best helm in the game. Wow. Yeah, I'm giving it to you. Although it will bring down your style, it brings up your defense quite a bit. Alright, now we just gotta get out of here. And we gotta fight Live Lava and the Bird of... Whatever that is. Whatever that word is. <laughs> Don't we have an ability that, like, hits everybody or something without using magic? Yeah, let's try this. Got hit pretty hard. Cause apple, nice. All right, let's try to get the hell out of here now. Now this uh, area, I think, is very similar to before. when we were in the mountain from the volcano area okay
Wow, that bird did something nasty. Wowie. Alright, dragon, lay off. Jeez. And bird too, stay away. Oh my god, these birds are nasty. I don't like them. Yeah, this is... This, ow, 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 ow. Focus on healing, jeez. There we go, Omni Heal. It's almost not fair, but we needed it. Gotta run around the entire perimeter. I'd rather fight you, Mr. Dragon. Mr. Dragon, I'm gonna fight you. No, don't use that. That's a nice ability, but geez, Louise. God, this bird is crazy. I don't like the bird. Oh, there's two of them. Um, fight wisely. Guys are hard. Please don't destroy me. Yeah, this is awful. Wow. Alright, we're almost out of here. I guess since we're near the end, it's alright if we use. All me, all me powers, all me MP. Oh, crud! Do I want to do this? I think I can get out of this. Be back, baby. Oh no! Oh no! How do I get out of this? Hmm. I made a mistake. Hmm. I, that means I'm gonna have to do all this over again. Hmm. I don't have anything. Alright. Let's try one last thing. Otherwise, I'm going to have to wait. And basically, what I'm going to say is do as I say and not as I do. Oh, crud. Where's that hat? What about if I just use zoom? How do I bang my head on the ceiling? Look, there's nothing here. Alright, so what I'm going to have to do... Let me out of here. Well, I'm surprised they don't let you get out of here. Alright, so what's going to have to end up happening is I'm going to have to redo all this. And, uh... 
Damn it, I didn't want to have to redo all this. But, yeah, we're not going to fight this guy right now. Probably maybe like two, epi two or three more episodes, and then we will. So, anyways, I'm going to stop the video here, and the next episode we'll pick up... Um, we'll pick up somewhere. Anyways, I've been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.